coastal ribbons of red are lining Finless and Arm. It looks pretty spectacular from up here. The bands of silty looking strands are made up of millions of microscopic algae. I didn't know what it was and I thought it was actually kind of like a bad thing in the water. I wasn't sure if it was like oils or fuel from something. It's a form of red tide, the bloom prompted by what scientists call perfect conditions. There was the rain and then there was the wind and then there was the calm and boom, Noctiluca takes over. Researchers say it's not a toxic red tide, though. It's not producing toxins yet. But they will be on the heels probably thereafter, you know, as the water's warming up. Until the surface water hits 15 degrees, Galbraith says we're safe from the toxic algae blooms when the microorganism starts releasing lethal amounts of toxins that can accumulate in shellfish and small fish. Nearshore sheltered waters may hit those temperatures in June. This one is a little bit early. But as water gets warmer with climate change... Yeah, we're going to see stuff like this happening earlier and earlier. Until the tide takes it away, the blooms can be seen throughout the Saanich Inlet. With some reports from Souk, the sites even better at night. Because these are bioluminescent organ organisms. So at night, when you're disturbing them and stuff like that, they'll all fire off. It's really quite pretty. On a dark evening, you might catch a blue glow. By day, these murky orange ribbons, safe to swim near and eat shellfish from, so far.